My name is John Fossum. I was a uh, part-time public defender in Rice Steel and Waseca counties from 1996 to 2004. I was the elected Rice County attorney from uh, 2015 to 2022. And um, I was also uh, served in Afghanistan for a year as a uh, uh, trainer for uh, police and prosecutors in 2007-2008. Uh, I've uh, been a, a criminal defense attorney for most of the 30 years that I've been practicing. In counties, I had been a, uh, a contract attorney for uh, Ramsey County Public Defender's Office. And uh, when I got hired as a um, public defender, I wasn't paying that much attention to, to my salary. I just figured I'll, I'll get a little more every year and it'll be fine. And after a while, I realized I was making less as a permanent part-time public defender than I had as a temporary contract public defender. And um, when the time came for my performance review, I wasn't given a raise. And uh, I was told there's no money for it, though there were budget surpluses at the time. And in talking to all the other public defenders in the area, we you know, realized if we weren't going to get raises when there were budget surpluses, we weren't going to get them ever. And there were also a lot of times when, um, or there were a couple times when people just got fired summarily. And being at will employees was not where we wanted to be. And we just wanted to be able to make a decent living as uh, public defenders and um, just make a little bit more every year. That was all we really wanted from, from public employment. And, uh, but as a part-time public defender, my primary responsibility is to, uh, you know, handle cases that are conflict cases that, uh, you know, when you have multiple defendants on a case or, you know, uh, part the, for the full-time people over in Chaska, uh, you know, can't take a case for whatever reason, because they have a conflict, then the case comes to me that, you know, we have to you know, to act together as a, as a, as a, as a union, to, as a collective unit, uh, to get the best possible, uh, bargaining strength that we can, uh, when, when, when negotiations happen between, you know, the public defender union and management, uh, you know, this last go around is by far and away the, the best example that I can think of, uh, that through, a, a gigantic effort by you know by the union by uh by union stewards uh by lobbying and getting assistance from the legislative uh, members uh that you know getting uh, a significant uh increase in funding for public defense uh, to the tune of nearly 100 million dollars every every two years in perpetuity uh allowed us to get a significant pay increase uh, to put us on par with other uh, prosecutors that, that uh, are paid, were paid higher up until, you know, reached uh, that would not have happened, but for the uh, persistence of, of the, you know, union in particular local 320 that represents uh, us as public defenders. And, uh, you know, that was uh, a significant increase uh, in pay that will have life-changing uh, consequences uh, for our members. Uh, so moving forward, every every couple of years, we negotiate with management and, and uh, you know, having that foundational support in place uh, with from the union, uh, you know, gives us more leverage uh, for bargaining, uh, you know, having resources for uh, for members that, you know, if you have a disciplinary issue or have a have a uh, and need need some assistance or have a grievance that's filed for the management not following rules or you know whatever it might be uh those are significant resources that the uh that the union offers I to join teamsters because i come from a family of union members 
Both of my parents are retired St. Paul public school teachers and they were in the union and I saw the protections that it afforded them. Okay, I, I would tell a new employee to join the union because that's how you get all a lot of your information. It's a separate thing from your employment and it's a totally separate organization that has only you in mind and only your best interests at heart. And paying dues to the um, union helps with political action so that we can get legislation passed. It helps with other union members that go on strike. We offer support, not just locally, but internationally. There are conferences. There are so many different um, people that you can meet. Other public service employees, not just within the Board of Public Defense, but statewide. You go to Lobby Day, especially. Lobby Day is the number one I recommend that everybody go to Lobby Day. It is very enlightening and very empowering. important for the staff to have a voice in the decisions about our pay and our benefits um, and someone to represent our interests when working with management. New employees, they may not have historical knowledge of how our agency has been run or um, they may not, may not have been in a union before. That was true for me. When I joined, I didn't have a lot of information about what unions did for employees. Um, but what I've learned that's really important um, is the union helps fight, help together with members. We help fight for fair pay, um, adequate benefits, leave opportunities for staff for um, vacation and sick time and things like that. Um, it's also helpful for new staff to understand that a lot of policies our, agencies ha our agency has um, have been shaped by conversations with union members and the union and management at the administrative office. This is a difficult job. It's difficult whether you're an attorney, a paralegal, an office, a legal office assistant, um, a dispositional advisor. It's, it's difficult work. We talk to people about really hard things all the time. We hear and see really terrible things that happen in the world. It's incredibly important that you find people in your office that you can talk to, to stay excited about the work you're doing um, and to keep you grounded because this can be really hard, but it's, it's a great job.